Youth Helpline Workday begins with a call. This center is a free call center which answers to youth's questions related to health which they probably can't ask in person. UNFP supports Ministry of Public Health to increase availability of reproductive health information and life skills education at the community level, focusing on girls and boys both in and out of school. Among the different interventions, the Youth Healthline constitutes a pilot program that received increasing interest among young Afghans from Kabul and now it is expanding its impact outside the capital. Thanks to UNFPS support, for the first time in Afghanistan, by calling for free a telephone number, it's now possible to receive reproductive health related accurate information, counseling, and referrals to appropriate services or resources. Around 68% of Afghanistan population is under 25. This huge portion of population is, is facing several challenges and problems, such as lack of access to information about their sexual reproductive health. Dr. Faizi added this problem is more prominent among girls because they can't raise any such issues with others, particularly in a face-to-face -face context. Considering this circumstance, UNFP in close coordination with Ministry of Public Health established Youth Healthline in August 2012. This center has two doctors, a male and a female, which help youth to ask their questions freely. Most of questions which youth ask are about sexual health and acne. بیشترین مشکلات جوانای ما مشکلات جلدیشان هست در قدم اول باز طبقه اوناست مشکلات مشکلاتی که مربوط نسایی می باشه اون مشکلاتشان رو بیشتر برای ما مطرح میکنه The anonymity of the youth health line allows the caller to ask questions that may be difficult to address in a face to face context resulting in a successful tool to improve knowledge on reproductive health rights and access to reproductive health facilities in the meantime, this center provides in-person counseling to youth. Abdul Nasser came to Youth Helpline Center to receive counseling about his problem. I was here before, I had a meeting with you for 120. And they told me that we can see you for one time. And the problem that I had with them was that I had to go to the hospital. And they had to go to the hospital and they had to go to the hospital. And they had to go to the hospital and they had to go to the hospital for me. Evidence has shown that comprehensive sexuality education that is age-appropriate, gender-sensitive and life skills-based can provide young people with the knowledge, skills and efficacy to make informed decisions about their sexuality and lifestyle.